Right, box or quarter A, which means uh, that's the fourth or fifth letter in the bin, uh, which means it's a quarter D 2010. We've got a speed sensor problem. It's come out of uh, AB, ABS lights coming on, and um, we changed the speed sensor on the one that's indicated left front. Still come up with an error, so what we're going to do now is jack up the front right, put it on the scan, <coughs> scan tool and then spin the wheel to see if we're still reading uh, revolutions and the, the error <coughs> could be that there are things confused between left and right, who knows. Hooked up the front right, so time for scan tool DS708 Pro, <coughs> a bit old now this thing. Power to the system, not engine on. Data port connector, uh, OBD2 is here. Just bridging this fellow up. Let's have a look. Just need to run through a few things. Voxel. I'll just run through a few things on it. So quite a few faults in there and that's uh, indicating that the ECU has been waterlogged or is affected by water somehow. That's common but like I said none of the faults I checked on it was debilitating enough to set off the uh, check engine light but we'll look through, scroll through the menu and we'll look for the test the wheel uh, sensor. It could be this one I can't remember. Live data. Give us a list, yeah. So it, it was indicating front wheel. It didn't show you, but it was saying the front wheel sensor was faulty. But really, we're going to check the um, the left. Uh, we're going to check the front right actually, because we the front left was the sensor was changed, but it's still showing an error. So I'm just thinking, could it be possibly? The front right, that is the problem. So the car is jacked up. I see it's reading zero, zero, but we'll see. I will spin the wheel, or I'll get someone to spin the wheel on the front right to see if we've got any numbers on. Right, turn the wheel. Yeah, we've got some numbers on the front right. So it's reading something. Yeah, keep turning it. Just make sure, yeah, we've got numbers on the front right. Okay, let's do the same test. We know it's not showing on the front left, but let's do it. Well, I've just spun the front left and uh, the wheel is binding. And obviously we're getting, I'm sure you're probably, you're getting no, no anything on there. Something wrong on that left side, for sure, front. Right. So let me get a torque. So that end is easy to take off. This end was not. Yeah, because all fused into it. Fused in as usual, it's rusted away. That sensor is not the big gap between the yeah. well, there's a big gap, but it's not it's yeah. like two mil gap between that and the and the kind of rigid blades. So this here so that was no issue apparently that's good. This is a new sensor so I think it's just it tighten it up yeah. So you got this is a 5mm Allen key and uh, it doesn't like it's sitting anywhere near where it should be. But I'm going to take it out, it should be okay, it's only just recently we bought it. Usually they're rusted. Uh, once we dig out anything, it should just be a hole. I'm going to dig out anything that's maybe like rusted off inside. Alright some Right, so we're just undoing that. That ain't crossed. And it should just pop out. Where's that? It's a bit rusty in there already. The question is, can I look inside and see a proper hole? hole? Would there be a... What's vacuum? 
It's got a neat hole. As you, should, as you spin the, as you spin the wheel, you should be able to see like the ridges. I can feel it's scraping, so it's smooth. You hear that? I can feel the friction. Well, it should be, should be like um, a rigid cog. Up and down, up and down. That's what the speed sensor relies on. Very strange. Well, well, obviously, it could do with tightening up, which is, but this is how it's designed. There's nothing in the hole. It's, the hole is clear, but the sensor, for the sensor to pick up the speed, it, surely it must feel something. Maybe like a bump. Maybe if I keep spinning it, there'll be a bit where it, it just suddenly is a bump or a dent. I don't feel that at all, it's run it right round. Nothing. Which is odd. Okay, next job is to unplug that. Apparently it's easy. We test the resistance. You find roughly what the resistance should be in case we've swapped for a bad sensor. It can happen. So apparently it should be 1,000 to 1,000 to 2,500 ohms. 2,500 ohms. So to test it, it's very difficult to take off that wall and just pulled it off there and turned it upside down. I can test it now. So it's reading, test it, reading somewhere between 800 and 1,500. So we're showing resistance. It's okay, the sensor is okay. So if you're doing a job like this, try and test the sensor before you install it. Last thing you do is uh, grease it up a bit with a contact spray and then uh, reinstall. And it goes one way, obviously buy, make sure you buy the right one and then buy the wrong one uh, and hope it fits. It won't fit, it won't work. So it's a bit, so the problem is, is it needs a bit of a cleaning in there. The hole's a bit kind of small. Right. Tapped it in with the back of the screwdriver gently, so it's now now it's dead flush. As close as it will get. Right, all right. So everything's back on. I had to adapt the screw. These, well, the hole needs to be threading, but I had to put a nut on the bolt. So it would screw in by hand, and then it would get stuck. So it needs to be threading, but we didn't we didn't um, change it. Just put. A, not on it, so it sits higher, but it's firm now, it's flush. I don't see any gap there. Yep, we'll test it again. Anyway? Nope, nothing. Wheel sensor is showing nothing. Alright, so, so we've got nothing coming out. So I, I think. The speed sensor needs something to sense on, you know, the bumps, the little little ridges. Could it be cheaply made and the ring has fallen off and it's sitting to one side and you can't see the actual ring? Could it be something like that? I'm sure, pretty sure it needs um, a sensor ring, right? So, and it's a little bit stiffer than it should be. So I'm erring on the side of that. I, I do believe a sensor can't just sense over plain old uh, metal. It's not possible. 